Next are a pair of retouching tools called Healing Brush and Clone Stamp. There are a couple versions of each. They all do similar things but in different ways. With the Clone Stamp, you select an area of your image to paint or clone over another area. The Healing Brush uses Content Aware software to attempt to heal or remove the object you're painting over. So first, let's try the Spot Healing Brush. This tool just uses software to do its job. The other tools in this lesson actually sample part of the image and use that as a reference when painting over another area. With the Spot Healing Brush though, you just paint over what you want removed and Elements does the rest. So let's try to get rid of this patch of dead grass here. The first thing to do is select your brush. A soft edge is almost always a good choice. Then just paint over the spot you want to remove. The spot healing brush looks at the area surrounding the spot I'm painting over and makes its best guess of what to fill in. In this case it works pretty well. But what if I wanted to use the spot healing brush to remove this bush? doesn't do a horrible job, but we end up with a lot of blurry grasses. This is because the tool struggles around drastic changes in color or texture, like the difference between the rock wall and the grass here. Removing this bush can be done much better by the clone stamp, which I'll sh show you shortly. First though, let's take a look at the healing brush. Unlike the spot healing brush, with this tool, I need to sample an area that I want to use to paint over another area. So I'm going to try and fill in these patches of dirt with grasses. To sample some of the grass area, I'll hold down the Option button and click. Now I'll start painting on the dirt area. As I do this, I'm going to sample from different spots in the grass to vary the look. By the time I'm finished, I have a pretty convincing looking full area of grass. Now let's move on to the clone stamp tool and create a clone of this bush. To get started, I'll hold down the option key and click where I want to start cloning from. I'll begin from the lower left of the bush. When I move over and start painting in the clone, you can see a crosshair over the area of the clone stamp is referring to. So there's my second bush. I can also use the clone stamp to try and remove the bush. So I'll sample the rock area and begin cloning over the bush.
Clone stamp works pretty well, but you're bound to end up with some areas of the image that end up repeating, like of this vertical crack. This can easily be repaired with some more cloning or using the spot healing brush. Finally, we have the Pattern Stamp tool. This will let me select a preset pattern and paint it onto my image. In the Tool Options bar, I can click here to view the patterns. Click the double arrows here to see even more sets of patterns. I'm going to take one of the rock patterns. Now I'll just start painting and the pattern is applied. There are numerous different types of patterns available that can be used for a ton of different looks and effects.